back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be giving a review for the NECA Batman 1989 Battle Rain Replica. Now this is a replica of the Battle Rain which is used in the film. Now I do have the actual DVD right here too as well. Because you know Tim Burton had directed this film. I do remember getting to see this like in the theaters like back then too as well. Now this is also part of the uh, this collection that I had like on DVD which has the first four like Batman films that started in 89. But yeah, uh, I'm kind of excited about picking this on up. And I was actually able to order this from a Big Bad Toy Store. Because it's been out for a month but I was actually having trouble finding it. And it was only exclusive to I think like Walmart stores. But eventually they kind of opened it up and it's kind of like available like, like everywhere now I think. But I still I managed to order this on like a Big Bad Toy Store. But I'm going to go ahead and get into this uh, right now. You can see this is the box that NECA puts it in. And I, I must admit that it's beautiful box footage too as well. I like that packaging on it. Like the battery ring itself. And it says uh, Batman, battery ring replica. So I think that's awesome. But I love how they actually package this. It's even on the top too as well. They also have an image right there on the side. I love like this box packaging. And right here it just got the symbol like by itself. So I think that's awesome. And on the back they show like how the, uh, the replica actually looks, how you can fold it. And it also says what it can do like uh, authentic movie detailing, seven inches across, magnetic extending and folding feature, and includes a display stand too as well. So yeah, I'm definitely excited about this. And like I said, I love this packaging that they have for this. That is awesome. Her, this is how they actually have a package in here too as well. So I'm going to take this on up. Because up first, right, as you can see, is this actual stand. And this is the stand that comes with the uh, battery. And this is for like displaying it. Now I know it's just a simple plastic tube. So I'm sure this can like bend up if you're not careful. That's how it looks like underneath. And it does say that like, Batman on it too. I think that's awesome. Now even I admit it, it would have been cool so, like, if they would have had that painted in like gold. But it's okay because I'd be seeing like other like figures and you know like stuff like this that doesn't paint the actual like it has like the logo of the film but it doesn't be like painted in it just be like a solid black. So I still think that's kind of cool. And I'm glad that they gave us a display stand to uh, put the, uh, the battery ring on itself. That's awesome. And this rear, as you can see, is the battery ring. So I admit this is awesome. <laughs> the detailing in that is cool. It even has like these uh, sharp points right here. And this is actually like plastic material too. But that is pointy. You can see that that would hurt, you know, if you're not careful. You could probably pinch somebody or stab them with that. So I think that's awesome. But yeah, this is uh this is awesome. I always like the uh, the actual design, this like a three, like the number three right under the wing, I think that's cool. Even like when you just hold a battery in period, it is like a three. Like the number three, I always thought that was cool. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's that's awesome. Now this also like folds in because you can see like, the uh, hinge points right there on it. I think when you fold it in, you have to actually um, you fold it in right here in the front first. So I think you just fold in and it's magnetized too. So as you can see it even locks once you close it. Then you can fold it again too as well. I think these uh, wing parts like fold out if I'm not mistaken. Yeah they fold out like that. Then you can even fold the other one out. So that's how it actually looks once it's folded up. Now that is an awesome uh, uh, replica to have. The neck went that far to actually make this. So that's how it looks though when it's actually like folded up. Then of course you know you can fold it back out. And it is like magnetized so it automatically locks in when you do it. I want to measure this too while it's on the stand which is kind of tricky to do. Looks like it's like over 8 inches. And if I take the battery ring out, let me see. Kind of hard to really do it. But this is 7 inches in length. Like from the, uh, the point to this point, it is 7 inches. And once you're through with the battery ring, you know, you can just take it and it just sits right on in here like that. I think I got it right. And I do think that that's awesome that uh, NECA gave us a uh, display stand too. 
I know some people are not too big on it, but they are, are praising it. That is, it is awesome that we do have a display stand for that. That is awesome. Now, I hope that Nuck is actually touching on doing more things based on uh, Batman from 1989. I hope we get like some more like of things. Cause I know they have like the uh, grappling gun, but, and then they also have like the uh, that line launcher thing that he used like in the museum. They have that one on the way too, because that's the one that's really large. Then they have like the animated props too, as well, based on the animated series. So I'm definitely curious about the other things that Nuck is going to be doing this. And I hope that there are, it's possibly might be getting like some ultimate figures based on the like Batman 1989, like an ultimate like Batman figure. It would be cool if we can get like the uh, Jack Nicholson Joker, but I know he doesn't allow, well he allows it, but he's like, he charges too much from what I'm hearing, you know, so that's why Nicholson has never done like a figure based on it. I think that would be awesome, you know. Okay, that's the NECA Batman 1989 Batarang replica. This is awesome. If you're a fan of this particular version of Batman, I would definitely recommend picking this on up. Even though it's just like a figure, and then you notice know, it's based on the first film, like in the uh, the series, which is directed by Tim Burton. That's what the prop replica is actually based on. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this if you could find. Because like I said, it was like hard kind of finding this. Because now they have made it available everywhere because it was available only like at Walmart exclusively like in the stores. But now you can't find it like I think at various different like locations and so on. Because I found mine at a big bad toy store. So yeah, I definitely recommend picking this one up. And I know that the, uh, the grappling uh, gun is out there now too as well as the one I would definitely like to have, you know. Then they have that, I think it's called the line launcher, the one that was like real huge that they used like in the museum. They have that one on the way too. Plus, Neck also has ones based on like the, uh, the animated series, like Batman from the 90s. But yeah, I'm hoping that uh, this is a sign that Neck is going to be messing with the uh, Batman 89 license in itself. You know, we might, we might get some figures, you know, because they have restocked like the uh, quarter scale uh, Batman 89 and uh, Penguin from Returns, you know, and like, Catwoman from Returns. They have restocked those. So I hope they get like, some new ones. Like, I hope we get like an ultimate Batman figure, you know, even like an uh, ultimate uh, Joker for once, you know. Because that's what I'm hearing, that Jack Nicholson just charges too much, and that's why they never done like a figure based on his legacy. And like I can say, imagine like a quarter scale, like a uh, Jack Nicholson, like Joker figure, that would be so awesome to me. But for some reason, I think they probably wouldn't do that because it's been so long, but it's possible, you know. But I bet ultimate figures are there, though. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend picking this one up. So, this is the uh, NECA Batman 1989 Batarang replica. Please leave a comment and uh, subscribe, too, as well. Mm -hmm.